So I was on YouTube and I looked up Atrocitus Legendary Gear. And I see very few video, very few videos of people actually having it. And almost no one posts a video of tips on how they got it and how they got it so fast. All right, so this is a little guide on how to do the finishes better for Atrocitus's legendary gear. Because probably everyone has the same problem that I'm running into that you just barely miss doing either the rage punch meter burn or the cat dash and it's very annoying so what's helping me is I built another atrocitus that I use one of my layouts and it's just will be all ability that was the main focus generally when I play online I want strength defense and health and I really don't care about ability so that's why I use this guy but so let's take the guy that I just been doing all the time and we'll go against Superman his defense is pretty standard what you'll see online you know, his health is a little low so we'll do the rage punch let's see what we get here All right. so 181 is the number that you there's a number you gotta be between 180 just over 181 or else you'll probably just miss for rage punches now for the cat dash. Cat dash. Forty. Okay, ninety. So if I was playing this guy on if I was playing this guy in the multiverse or online, they'd have to be just slightly over ninety health. Or else it'll be a miss. Because the as you know that the acid blood doesn't kill the character, it just brings them to like one critical hit away. So let's go to this guy that has 3,000 ability. Superman. Same character, Superman. Alright, Rage Punches. Ah. Significantly better. Almost double. So if I was playing this this guy online or uh, multiverse and he had 300 health left, that would have been a win because that would that last punch would have probably killed him. Now for the cat dash. Again, significantly better. So there you go. So if you're having the same problems I have, just build an atrocitus that has just p pump in as much ability as you can to your atrocities and you'll be that'll definitely help you so looking at his requirements for example 100 super move finishes i haven't concentrated on that because i noticed that the ai for atrocities it does it a lot more than the other ai that i've seen and I, surprisingly there's 48 of them done for me already and i probably have only done half of them and the only time I use it is when I've already missed the meter burn rage charge and the character's already like generally if I done the rage charge or the cat pounce and it didn't kill the character I'll just build up that bar of meter again by just standing there and letting AI beat me up until the meter fills back up and then I'll use the super move as you know chip damage 73 uh, 100 meta challenges that's that's low for legendaries and again you know if you know when it comes up if i see i could do it i do it if not you know the ai the ai is going to complete it for me the uh 100 meter burn raise charge i'm saving those i'm doing a cat pounce first because i find that harder but this is how I would, generally if i'm going to concentrate on that this is how i would do it all right so this is a atypical match where I'm trying to get the meter burn punches in the multiverse. So I do the move first. And I see it does 215 damage this time. This guy doesn't have that much de defense. So I need to take that into mind. Alright, then I'll come back. Alright, and I'm back. And you can see I got him down to 218. I do a wake up. Straight into the meter burn rage. And there you go. 
So that's pretty much how I've been doing it. Just gauge it out. Know what you need. Beat them down to it. Then do it. Here's a couple of the combos I like to do for the meter burn rage charge. And also, you know, if I feel that the AI is at the point where I, you know, I don't want to risk doing another hit into the rage. I just let it knock me down and then I do wake up. This is the hardest tower to complete and it takes the longest. Uh, let's start with hate pounce or as I call it the cat dash. And that's simply when you press down trait while Dexstar's out and Dexstar kills the opponent by slapping him in the face and then spitting in his eye. And the tricky part is if the cat, you know, if it's chip damage, you know, the animation doesn't start, that doesn't count. So you have to time it, you have to get it where, you know, the slaps in the face or the spit in the eyes kills them. So generally, I beat my opponent down or the AI down till when it's about 120 or 130 of health. And then, you know, I like to do a combo with it. Now I keep the combo simple because you know, the longer, the bigger the combo, the more nerfed that the last few hits are. A uh, good, good combo starter for this is back triangle X. Triangle, triangle, and both those are good because they you know, Atrocitus, you know, moves forward with both of those. But the problem is, you know, there's, those are longer hits. You know, it takes longer for him to do that out. Another good one is forward square or forward square triangle, depending on how much life they have left. And that's good because the forward square is very sweeping middle and it's fast if you got the AI low enough where it could take one hit right into Dexstar but if the AI is on top of you down square down trait that's a good one right into it And then, on the other hand, if you think, you know, the AI can't possibly take another hit or else, you know, the deck star move's not going to take, use your clash or do a meter burn roll. Get some space, then go right into it. Okay, so now the big requirement. 200 guild events. Now that's, that's a grind. I, I don't know a fast way to get around that, but I did find a way to do it a little more efficient. So let's go to my guild. And of course you want the shortest guild event there is and currently it's this one. So I go to this guy. And I saw there was 71 I've completed so far. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick not Atrocitus, I'm going to pick another character that I'm currently I'm in the midst of leveling up Green Arrow. I'm going to have Green Arrow start the tower. Alright, and I'm back. Green Arrow just defeated the second to last person in this tower. Yeah, so we're moving on to the last person. So, and then I'll just change out. I 
and put in Atrocitus. Alright, so I'm back. And I got Sub Zero down. And of course, he clashed me. You'll find the AI does that almost every other time. Try to finish following your requirements. Alright, well. Uh, let's just finish with this. Oh, well, I got another one of the requirements. So I started the tower with one character, but I finished it with Atrocitus. So now I go back to my single player legendary multiverse. Let me check Atrocitus. And now I got 72 instead of 71. So, like I said, there's I don't know a fast way to go through these, but that is a more efficient way. If you're grinding another legendary gear, especially a character that has one of those 3,000 minute requirements, because you'll find that you'll have everything completed, and then you just got to grind out minutes. This is a good way to do it. And then finally, there's this tower, which, yeah, you know, it's kind of a joke. I think they just put this in there because they had to. The sacrificing gear, the sidekick, that's all, yeah, that's all standard. And I would suggest running through these sidekick events if you have time first. You know, if you got sitting in front of the PlayStation, you know, you got a couple of hours, if you could do it. You know, you grind out the sidekick event, get to the boss, and then just repeatedly do the boss over and over and over and I found that once I got to the boss I could you know finish 30 of those in an hour and once you get once you get that done who knows you'll probably have at least some super moves completed with it when thousand character powers used yeah okay yeah, you know you're going to use it over a thousand times a thousand matches completed yeah you're going to do that 300 multiverse you know, events completed with atrocities. Why not make it 350? Because you're going to complete 150 sidekick events, and then you're going to complete 200 guild events. That makes no sense. So, yeah, like I said, you know, shoot to complete these. You know, if you get all these requirements, I suspect that all these requirements will be completed for me, and I'll have to do the guild events last. And I'll probably use the technique I just showed where. I'll just start it with a character I'm leveling up or I'm interested in getting, you know, another legendary gear with. So, well, that's all. That's all I got. I just want to show some tips that I found. You know, this is the third one I'm doing, and they take a while. A lot of dedication. Also, a lot of mindless dedication, though. Good luck to all.